Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, we'll be testing out the full self-driving beta autopilot in the city. So we're in the suburbs of Los Angeles. This is the latest firmware update. We'll be cruising around in the city, navigating to a bakery coffee shop. And it will be about a eight to nine minutes ride. Uh, this is raw video. I will be speaking to my experience on using full self-driving with a real life situation like car park on the street here which is common uh, for a lot of the la county suburbs area and sometimes the vehicle does hesitate and move towards these parked vehicles if you've driven on autopilot before on the highway you know that the vehicle or at least autopilot will try to center the vehicle inside a lane especially when you're on the far right and there's merging vehicle, the lane becomes wider. It tries to center itself, eventually blocking or attempting to block the on merging vehicles, which usually we will have to take over. Um, it got a little bit better over the years, but the vehicle still tries to center itself. Uh, and it's the same situation here with these, um, these parked cars on the street. So right now it's going to take a hard right. As you can see, it is jerky. Um, it does stop about two feet before the actual stop line, then it slowly pulls up. So that's something that is not normal and you can piss off a lot of people that is driving behind you. Um, at this point, I will actually move to the second line, but it's not doing that. It only does that after the light is close to turning green. Then it hesitate as well. So it took about maybe a second or two before it actually start accelerating. And then it accelerate hard into this yellow red light, which I normally would not do if I was driving. I would actually let go uh, slowly of the accelerator pedal, but instead it accelerate and then slam on the brake. So again, unusual driving behavior for our autopilot. And the light turned green, you can see there it reacted a little bit better this time but there's still about a second or two delay and again hard acceleration into the red lights and it start braking so you probably will wear out your brake a lot quicker using the full self-driving beta right now i don't know if they will adjust that later on but my driving behavior is usually just one pedal uh, i do accelerate harder from the start and then I ease off um, coming into a light that I know that will turn red. So then I don't have to use the brake at all. And I'm sure a lot of one pedal driver, if you use the whole feature in the Tesla vehicle, you know what I'm talking about. And you just modulate it slowly. Uh, full self driving, it doesn't really do that well. And uh, it's something that I'm sure it will improve over time. So as we continue on onto uh, this on-ramp, there is a slight bump. It doesn't recognize that. Um, it goes full speed onto this on-ramp. It does slow down uh, a little bit, but I would slow down a little bit more. Uh, you can see there's the big bump um, at 28 miles per hour. And it, you know, that's, that's okay. Uh, but with the camera, Tesla, Tesla uh, vision it should be able to see that bump hopefully in the future it can better calculate that um, and that's something you got to keep in mind it's not going to recognize potholes especially if you're in uh, downtown LA or some parts of the city where it has really bad paved row or potholes all over the place you won't be able to avoid those so the chances of you getting a flat tire with full self-driving beta is higher than if you were to drive it yourself for obvious reason um, as it took on the on-ramp, it did that really well. Uh, with autopilot, even enhanced autopilot before, it does that really well, merging onto traffic. Now, lane changing, you can adjust that to uh, being uh, aggressive or least aggressive. There's three levels, similar to that of Mad Max when you're on autopilot. As you see here, as you enter the highway, the visualization on the left becomes more simplified. It looks exactly like you have uh, just autopilot or enhanced autopilot. 
and that's something you got to keep in mind you got to turn on enhanced autopilot or else it's not gonna engage itself you can set that to auto um, and usually i leave it on auto for enhanced autopilot when on the highway but some people may not know that it's default to being manually turned on just keep that in mind and right now is detouring because we forgot to put on enhanced autopilot uh, when on the highway. So it exit the highway. And as you saw there, it flashes the high beam. Here's a hard turn, a lot of oncoming traffic. It did this really well. So we did not have to take over. Uh, again, there's a, there's a bump there that, uh, of course, uh, Tesla did not recognize. It just went full speed into that turn. But it did that really well. It recognized that all the oncoming traffic was still far away and it was able to um, turn, make that turn without hesitation. So here's a right turn in residential area. For some reason, it slowed down significantly for that pedestrian, which is fine. It waited for that pedestrian to get on the sidewalk before it actually moved forward. So now it's making the right turn. Signal is all automatic. So we do not need to engage any of those ourselves. And now the visualization that you see there is more cartoonish when you're in the city or local area. And with parked cars, oncoming cars, it does recognize those really well. And so far, so good. As long as everything is grid line, the autopilot uh, full self-driving beta does really well uh, when you come into complication like wider lanes um, or school zone area it tried to center itself again and if there's any parked cars on the right it will hesitate it will recognize it as a parked car and then slowly go around it but you can imagine if there's a vehicle behind you they will be like what are you doing so entering this uh, plaza here we had to take over because it was accelerating into that plaza where there's actually a, a slight slope uh, sidewalk. So as we continue on in local street, again, this, the best place to be is in the center lane where the lane is evenly uh, measure. And there's no sidewalk or curve park cars. And it does this really well when it's in the center lane. Even in the highway uh, or on the highway, if you're in the center lane, it does really well versus being on the fast lane and being really close to the divider or far right lane where there's a lot of merging vehicle. It gets confused and occasionally try to block vehicles from entering because it tried to center itself again. So I, I wouldn't say... Um, this full self-driving in the city is, is close to being fine-tuned. Again, this is great weather condition. There's no rain, snow, um, not a lot of vehicle. is a grid line situation type of row. And it, it does fine. It does fine. But if you have a vehicle following behind you, you might get a lot of upset people because it does slow down at odd places and then heart acceleration. Uh, where oh, you should be slowing down. Uh, Turn-wise, it, it's a little jerky, uh, especially on, on just, just regular turn, like this one. Uh, you can see from the steering wheel movement, it's slightly jerk, but it's, it's smooth. When there's no car around, it, it does really well. So first impression, I think that this is a huge improvement from just autopilot, enhanced autopilot itself. And being able to drive around the city is very impressive. I'm sure this will take at least another couple of years before it becomes like a real driver, um, at least a couple of years. And with no radar, sonar, and just Tesla vision, uh, there are situations where it shuts off on you when there's raindrop that blocks the, the repeater cameras. So something to keep in mind. So I don't know how they will get around snow situation or light snow situation or even in um, heavy rain situation, which a regular driver sometime will need, um, you know, the computer to, to help drive because driving it yourself in heavy rain sometimes is hard to see. Um, 
but you can argue that oh you shouldn't be driving out during those time but if you're gonna do turbo taxi and if there's no driver so you're pretty much stuck in a situation where you only can go out when the weather is is fine there's no rain heavy rain there's no snow there's no flooding etc so a lot of work still ahead but definitely huge improvement definitely impressed by how things change over the last couple of years um, compared to just autopilot and enhanced autopilot. Hopefully you find this video helpful. I still wouldn't trust my life with uh, full self-driving beta. Um, so right now, we're just going to continue driving it ourselves in the city and only limiting autopilot full self-driving to highway roads. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe.